Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to use the isometric function to draw a cube in AutoCAD. So this is going to be a beginner video. It's going to be tailored towards beginners. And we're going to kind of go over just the isometric function in general and how to use it. And then we're going to draw a cube. So that being said, let's get into it. All right, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments below. All right, so let's get started with the isometric cube or square. So the first thing we want to do, or the first thing you'll notice, is that you're in the traditional AutoCAD view, and we have to change that. So we're going to go down to the bottom ribbon here, and we're going to press this isometric drafting button. We're going to toggle it to on. When you turn it on, you can see that it gives you an isometric plane, or almost kind of like a 3D looking plane. This is normal. We can turn it off again, and it's going to go right back to uh, the AutoCAD typical screen you'd see. So we're going to turn that on. The next thing you are going to want to make sure is on is this polar tracking button right next to it. This is pretty important in the regular AutoCAD um, kind of layout, the non-isometric view, but it's going to be extremely important in the isometric view. So what this does is it kind of guides your line with the isometric view. So with that being on, we're going to draw a line, and as you can see, it's guiding me to uh, just give me a regular isometric viewpoint and shape. If I turn this off, I would have no guide, so I can create a line and kind of, you know, go wherever I want to. And as you can see, that doesn't really fit into the uh, isometric shape, and it doesn't keep your edges at 90 degrees. So we want to make sure that those two buttons are on. Once you get to this point, everything is very similar to regular AutoCAD, but we're going to uh, draw a cube just to show what that would look like within AutoCAD and kind of how to do that. So again, polar tracking, we're going to turn that on. Now we're going to come over here, and we're going to just, we'll say we're going to make the cube 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. 10 inches by 10 inches come up here, I have a whole video on um, your snaps, so those are going to be kind of important too. So we're going to go 10 inches, and then 10 inches. All of them are 10. And then from here, we are just going to come out like that. So we're going to go 10 inches. We're going to go there. that. Then we're going to come out another 10 inches. We're going to go right there. Scroll up a little bit. Come out another 10. Oop, I want to make sure that polar is aligned. 10 inches. and then we can finish the cube off. Now you've created it up to this point, but as you can see, it kind of just looks like um, you know, a hexagon. So we want to make sure that these hidden or invisible lines are not showing. So what we're going to do there is we're going to come up here to the trim, and we're actually just going to take that line out, and then this line, and then this line. And as you can see, it looks like a cube now. And when we're done here, we can turn the isometric view off. And now we have our cubed box. So there are a couple other things you can do with this as well within the isometric view, like create holes in the box. We'll save that for a more advanced lesson. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Thank you for watching. Again, this is just a fundamental slash introductory video to isometric drawings and how to draw a cube. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching, and hopefully everyone has a good rest of their day.